what's going on, Dodgers Nation? D-Mac here. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at D-Mac underscore LA. Tony Gonson made his first career all-star team. Now, should he be the all-star game starter? We're going to dive into that and also the sustainability of Tony Gonson for the second half of the season. We'll dive into that as well. But first, for all the latest Dodgers news, rumors, high videos, breakdowns, and more all season long, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and if you really want to support the channel, smash that like button. And as always, I'm with your takes down below in the comment section today's Dodgers Nation question of the day do you want to see Tony Gonsolin start the all-star game for the National League let me know down below and on a scale of one to ten do you have any concerns about Tony Gonsolin after the all-star break as far as his innings count goes let me know down below and for all latest Dodgers news head over to DodgersNation.com so it's official, Tony Gonson is an all-star. The Catman received the fifth most votes from players among National League starting pitchers, right behind Sandy Alcantara, Corbin Burns, Joe Musgrove, and Max Freed. Now, Clayton Kershaw, his teammate, he was selected by the commissioner's office, so he'll be joined by Kirsch. Now, Tony Gonson on the year, 11-0, has that 1-6-2 ERA of absolute breakout season for the Catman. He's the ERA leader as we speak, and it's just a massive year for Tony Smokes. I mean, heading into this season, you had people talking about him being a piggyback starter with him and Tyler Anderson or a back-end starter. At best, a number four or number five guy in your rotation. And at the break, he is an all-star. He's a guy that is in the conversation to start the all-star game. Now, there's other qualified candidates. Of course, you guys know I'm a proponent of Clayton Kershaw getting the ball for the National League in the all-star game. But you also have Sandy Alcantara when it's about over production that's probably the guy you want to go with when it's based completely on merit but if you look at the b-war for pitchers sandy alcantara he leads all starters at 5.2 then followed by max freed at 4.4 but tony gonson is right in there at 3.6 so he's been a very productive pitcher and when you consider the narrative and the fact that he has been the best starter on the best team in the national league i definitely think you should consider that as well but like i said you can also point Point to the ERA at 162. You can point to the whip at .801. You can look at the hits per nine at 4.8. I mean, he's a guy that's been out there and he's been producing all season long. He's tied with Justin Verlander with wins at 11. I'm not a big wins or loss guy. To me, that died when DeGrom won the Cy Young with 10 wins back in 2018. But if you want to consider that as a metric, you can point to that as well. Has not lost a game this season. So whether it's Catman do or Catman don't, as far as starting the all-star game I still think this is absolutely huge when it comes to his overall confidence knowing he is an all-star that goes a long way and look you're never going to forget your first all-star game your first all-star team now he has that on his resume and that's just going to continue to build his confidence that has already grown tremendously all season long but it was a really cool moment yesterday when Dave Roberts informed Tony Gonsolin that he had made his first career all-star game and um, we talk about it all the time. Tony, uh, you've come so far. I mean, I think if anyone in this organization, um, that's why I wanted Byrne here. I wanted uh, Connor here. I wanted Mark here, Andrew. Um, you've done so much for us. You've grown exponentially, Tony, um, by learning and watching this guy, learning the right things, and then finally figuring out who you are as a person, as a major league pitcher. And um, you've had a tremendous year up to this point. And uh, I don't know where we'd be without you, man. And, uh, you know, after this, you're going to have to keep going because our goal is to win a championship. And that's something you need to lean on him about because uh, this is one marker. Um, but the true test is to keep going. And that's what he's done better than anybody in all of baseball. So with this, Enjoy every bit of this, Tony. You're a major league all-star, and no one's ever going to be able to take it away from you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Well done. Congrats, brother. That's, That's your big brother right there, Way man. And then here was Tony Gonson yesterday reacting to the news that he had made his first Midsummer Classic. Uh, yeah, I set a goal this uh, offseason to come in and uh, one of my goals was to make the all-star team and uh, today that happened. More so like last year's injury, uh, coming off that, trying to 
build back up and feel better and feel healthy and then come back and I set a very solid goal of uh, becoming an all-star and uh, today that happened so um, you know, the next goal is to win the championship. Uh, yeah, I'd love to start the game. That'd be awesome. Um, to have it be here uh, with our home crowd, that'd be amazing. But, um, you know, I know Kershaw's history here and a uh, lifetime Dodger kind of thing. Um, <clears throat> he means so much to the organization. I, I wouldn't be uh, the least bit sad if, if he got the start as well. So really just an unbelievable story. I mean, what have I told you before this season that Tony Gonsolin was going to make the All-Star game, but not Julio Urias or Walker Bueller? I mean, just imagine that. But the year he's had, he's been fantastic. Now, the one thing that is a little concerning for me is the 88 and two-thirds innings pitch. Now, his previous career high was 55 and two-thirds last year in the regular season, close to 60 if you include what he did in the postseason. So it really is uncharted waters. And I do like the fact that he is a converted pitcher he was drafted as an outfielder but that can also mean he isn't as built up throughout his entire life as some pitchers but this is a guy that he's a big driveline guy he takes care of himself and I think that the fact that the Dodgers are continuing to build that lead in the NL West it currently sits at eight games that's going to allow them to play around and have him skip some starts maybe you see him piggyback some starts when Dustin May comes back or we'll see what they do with Tyler Anderson or when Walker Buehler gets healthy. Will they be able to kind of just keep him fresh as they enter the stretch run into the postseason? But you don't want to have him run out of gas, but he is building up. You're seeing him go deeper into the games, and that's important for Tony Gonson. Look, he pitched into the eighth inning two starts ago when he went seven and two-thirds against the Padres. In his last start on Thursday against the Cubs, he went seven innings, gave up two earned runs, and I think the big development with Tony Smokes, too, is he's still going out there and he's eating innings even when he doesn't have his best stuff, when he doesn't have his best command, he's still eating innings. And that really speaks to the maturation of Tony Gonsolin and what he's been able to accomplish this season. So I'm not too worried about it, but I'm a little shell-shocked after what happened last season with Julio Urias and Walker Buehler. So hopefully they'll continue to increase this lead in the NL West and they'll put themselves in a position where they can keep guys fresh. And who knows, maybe they add another starting pitcher at some point as well. But let me know down below in the comments section do you want to see tony gonson start in the all-star game me i'm for clayton kershaw i'll be honest but i'd be thrilled if they did go with tony gonson as well just seeing where his career started to where it is now i wouldn't have a massive issue with it and uh i think that we'll see with tony gonson say hey thanks but i'm gonna give this to curse that's a possibility who knows but let me know down below my name is dmac you can follow me on twitter and instagram at dmac underscore la for all latest dodgers news rumors high videos interviews breakdowns and more all season long be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. And if you want to see us post even more Dodgers content, smash that like button. And until next time, think blue, bleed blue, and I'm out.